Stylist, the Vibe Conductor, representing the Soul Controllers. I'm here at Warehouse Loft for Master of the Mix Season 2, the DC episode, Episode 5. We've got superstars in the building tonight. We've got Rare Essence, we've got DJ Scratch, an icon of mine, someone I learned a lot from when I was a pup learning how to DJ, Mr. Kid Capri. Compared to uh, the challenges you've seen so far, because there have been some creative challenges between season one and season two, what is your perspective on the DC challenge? What made it special? What stood out for you? This is the one and only Just Blaze. Right now you at the match for the mixed event for DC. We filmed the DC a couple months ago. We came back to celebrate, do a viewing party. We got a lot of love for DC. We got a lot of love for the go go scene. Big shout out to DJ Scratch. Kick it, pre killed it. DJ Scratch, you are the Master of the Mix Season 1 reigning champion. So tell me, as the Season 1 reigning champion, what did you want to see the most from the Season 2 competitors? I wanted to see. Um I just want to see more DJing, that's it. I just want to see more DJing. In, in competing in a, in a show like this, it's very hard. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. So we're in Washington, D.C., and you've been around the world. You've done a lot. But, you know, you know some D.C. You know about some D.C., you know. So tell me about, you know, your favorite memory playing in DC? My favorite memory in DC is um, it's kind of it's kind of bit a bit of sweet because the last show EPMD did before we broke up was in DC at the Capitol Center, and Rare Essence was headlining. Every time I talk to this cat on camera, like pieces of history come out. During the DC episode, I, I did something that I, I really never did before, and I kind of broke out of my shell. And so what was it like rocking with Rare Essence? <laughs> Rare Essence was dope. Like, I don't know if a lot of people knew who they were as far as all of the, um, the um, cast members, but I'm a fan, you know what I mean? So it was like, you know, body movement and, you know, that's like my favorite. He knows. Boss lady. So, uh, Miss Rich Cat Okaday, AKA Cat, tell me about, you know, you were actually on site. You were on camera and on site for the DC episode. What, what was your favorite part of that experience? Getting off camera. You got to hang out with Just Blaze. Who I absolutely adore. And he was great. He actually coached me through the whole thing. I couldn't have done it without him. So I was really, I was nervous and he just made me feel so comfortable. So that was the best part. And then not having to do it anymore. <laughs> Jenny Costa, the season two mixologist, she's the one that um, hooks up all the beverages to uh, keep the party going. What is the most interesting thing you've observed from behind the bar this season? A few people might have gotten a little too hammered. Is that gonna be an outtake? Serve them though, I am a responsible server. I did not overserve. Is that gonna be an outtakes? Definitely gonna be on the outtakes. Check out facebook.com slash master of the mix for the after show, cause I dish all the dirt on that show. Hey, this is Leon over here at City Life. We're actually part of the Master of the Mix. Happy to be a part of this event again back in D.C. Um, right now, we're just really happy to see everybody out here supporting Smirnoff and um, seeing everybody being a part of this whole go-go scene that we have right now here at Red Essence. We've got Kick Capri here tonight, DJ Scratch. I mean, just happy to be a part of it. And once again, it's all about D.C. and um, Master of the Mix and Smirnoff. This is your girl, Hip Hop Cleopatra. Home of the DMV. I am so excited to be here with BET Smirnoff, Master of the Mix Season 2. Man, it is such a joy to be a part of this. I am a community partner for this, and I'm just so happy that Master of the Mix decided to bring this down here in the DMV. Um, we have our own culture here. Go Go is a big part of our culture in the DMV, and people need to recognize what you can do with Go Go music. Hey, my name is Kanisha. I'm with Gypsy Soul, and this year we are hosting some of the Smirnoff Master of the Mix series in Baltimore and in Maryland with Lil So So. We are hype about being able to highlight DJ Cole. Yeah, 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 yeah. so what's good, family? This is Carl Carter, executive producer of Master of the Mix. 
CEO of GTM in the building. Here with Smirnoff, here with the Master of the Mix crew, Lil So So Productions, getting it in at DC, hometown, episode five, the Go Go episode, Master of the Mix. We just felt like it was important to give Go Go the national spotlight since so much of Go Go music plays in the hip hop production and the DJs really was up against a challenge in terms of trying to really blend with Go-Go and rock alongside a, alongside Rare Essence, which of course is a legendary Go-Go band. So we just thought it was super important to get that into the show, show the world and the nation, the culture of Go-Go that of course, you know, we all love here in DC, but he's wanted everybody to see what time it was with, with Essence and with Go-Go culture. So that's why Master of the Mix is here. We're here to show respect and we're here to show love and Make sure you check us out Saturdays at midnight on BT. You know what it is. Master the Mix. Yeah.